below. As you can see, we are, I know what you did in the last blog, we are uh, five members, Antonio Luis, Esther, David, Rita, and me, and we are going to deal with a Bechaxa presentation based on an innovative project of a Spanish teacher in a primary school. Our project is called Viajar Virtualmente, and it was born in 2008. It was first done in five a six level of a primary school in Burgos called Falle Mahon. This is the photo of the center. The name of the teacher who invented this, this project was Julita Fernandez Diez. We can contact her by different ways, as you can see, and we could talk to her by email and Twitter. She was so kind and so helpful for us. The How Virtualmente is a project that helps students to know about topics that they are interested in. In it, uh, students under are recorded during their presentation. First, it was done individually and then by group. The technique used in, this, in the project is called Chroma Peak. It consists on in having a green or blue background where you can project image where, uh, about what you are talking about. And we can say that it is an interactive background. Some advantages of the project are it is cheaper than traveling to the country and from our own country we can travel wherever place we want. And uh, like these advantages we have, we need good technology and it is not the same when we travel virtually. To carry out this project, we have to take into account things like the evolution, which is the mental age of the students, physiological characteristics, if there is any disabled person in the class, cultural environment, socioeconomical situation, if they have access to technology, and the flexibility of the educational system to use the So in our curriculum design, as you can see in the scheme, topic and planning must be related. This is because when we are talking about the planning, the topic, we have to think about uh, assessment, uh, content, objectives, and strategies. Here we have some characteristics about media. If we apply those to our project, we can remark efficiency of the media, availability of technology, and the motivation and the novelty factor, which I think is the most important thing in our project. <coughs> Talking about the back, the back theory in that we work during the several, several weeks ago, in pedagogical content knowledge, we have to say that students should know deeply their topics when they are explaining to the rest of the class. In the case of our project in technological content knowledge, uh, they have to, to look for information and photos about the topic and use technology. Uh, even uh, one of the students used a digital blackboard, so he integrated this in work. Talking about technological, pedagogical knowledge, students have to know how to use properly technologies in, because they have to explain the topic that they have chosen for the presentation to the rest of the class. To finish with the GPAC theory, we have to talk about the union of the three main elements of, the, of this approach. So technological, pedagogical, content knowledge refers to the way that um, a student teach their peers some content uh, using the proper technology. <coughs> now we are going to see some examples of the project. The first one is the platypus, and it was done by a boy called Ignacio. He talked about the taxonomy and origins of the platypus, where it lives, how it moves, and differences between male and female gender. The second one was about football. It was done by a boy called Bruno, and he talked about the types of balls, um, football uh, referees and goals, and the history of the football. 
and the, the different types of competition that they exist. The third one was water, and it was done by a boy called Samuel. He talked about the three states of water, solid, liquid, and gaseous, where we can find water, how it is used, problems of lack of water, and water pollution. The fourth one was about Egypt. It was done by three girls, and they talked about uh, the pyramids and the history and how they were made. Also about the Nile River and what were the uses in the past and in the present, and some important monuments and temples we have in Egypt. In the last one was Four Wonders of the World, and it was done by four boys. Uh, the four boys traveled to four different countries to visit their main monuments. They visited to Rome to see the Coliseum. They saw Chichen Itza in Mexico, the wall in China, and Petra, Petra City in Jerusalem. As difficulties, we can say that at first they were very, uh, really nervous, but then uh, they have to tell the teacher that it was uh, they, they were more comfortable in uh, doing other exposition in another subject with other like, topics different. So that's all for today. We hope you like the project. And now, if you have any questions, let us know. Also, if you want to see some example of the project, we can put a video. You want? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.